Lesson 12.2a, Testing the Converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. A converse is a situation, object, or statement that is the reverse of another. In math, a converse is a theorem whose hypothesis and conclusion are swapped to be the conclusion and hypothesis of another theorem. The Pythagorean theorem states that if a triangle is a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem states, if a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. So let's use some color to see how the hypothesis and conclusion were swapped. We have our Pythagorean theorem, we have our hypothesis, if the triangle is a right triangle, but in the converse, the hypothesis is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Well, that's the conclusion for the Pythagorean theorem. And the conclusion for the converse is the hypothesis for this one. So do you see how the hypothesis and conclusion swapped? We can find if the set of lengths make a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared true. We have the numbers 3, 4, and 5 in our set. 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared, which means 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. Yes, 25 is equal to 25. This is true. It's true, which means the triangle is a right triangle. Let's try 9, 40, and 41. That means we have 9 squared plus 40 squared is equal to 41 squared. Well, 9 times 9 is 81. We can do a little math on the side and do 40 times 40, which is 1,600. And 41 times 41 is 1,681. And yes, 81 plus 1,600 is 1,681. This is true. It's true, which means the triangle is a right triangle. We can cut strips of grid paper one square wide and the lengths of the sides equal to the previous given sets of lengths. We had three, four, five. We cut one that's three units, another one that's four units, and another one that's five units. And we see they form a right triangle in the center here. We can tie 13 knots at even lengths on a rope to form 12 spaces between the knots to form a right triangle. We have three spaces between the knots here, four spaces between the knots here, and five spaces between the knots here for three, four, five. We can use grid paper to cut out squares and arrange their sides to form a right triangle. We have three units here, four units here, and five units here. But if you look, three squared is nine, four squared is 16, and five squared is 25. A Pythagorean triple consists of three non-zero whole number lengths that will form a right triangle. And some common Pythagorean triples are 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, and 13, and 7, 24, 25. We're finished with 12.2a. We're going to move on to b, identifying a right triangle. I hope you have a great day and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.